The Holy Quran states that in every age a faith-based book is revealed. God has sent forth a number of scriptures in the past, but the ultimate and final revelation is the Holy Quran, which was revealed to the latest and final prophet, Muhammad peace be upon him. God revealed his wisdom, laws, and instructions to mankind through his final book as guidance for all people living in the present day and going forward. The Holy Quran was taught by God to Angel Gabriel, who taught it to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who then taught it to us verbatim, word for word. The Holy Quran's central theme is the relationship between God and his creation. The Holy Quran teaches the art of living. The Holy Quran contains guidelines and teachings for both individuals and society as a whole. The Holy Quran deals with all subjects which concern human beings such as doctrine, wisdom, worship, law, transactions, proper human conduct, instructions to relegate a fair economic system, ethics and moral behavior, business, government and more. The Holy Quran is a book of guidance and science that prove God's authorship and overall existence. The Holy Quran is proof of the truthfulness of Islam. The Holy Quran is the greatest miracle of God that exists today and will exist until the end of time. The Holy Quran is such a great miracle that it makes all past miracles seem trivial in comparison. These signs of God that exist in the Holy Quran are meant for people of understanding to recognize God's existence and to affirm that this book could have originated from him only. The claiming that any book is the word of God is a heavy statement. Without clear evidence or with one contradiction found within a book, the apparent word of God would be proven false. God's past prophets like Jesus, Moses, and Abraham, peace be upon them all, came with miracles which they performed as irrefutable evidence to prove that they were indeed messengers of God. They healed the leprosy, cured the blind, transformed a staff into a snake, parted the Red Sea, and resurrected the dead, all with the permission and will of God. However, unlike these miracles, one does not have to have lived at the time of the prophets to witness them with his own eyes. The miracle of the Holy Quran is eternal and is as convincing today as it was at the time of its revelation. For the doubters, the Holy Quran challenges anyone who doubts godly origins to produce another sacred text in merit. God challenges mankind in five different verses to produce something similar to the stature of the Holy Quran. Then the challenge eases when God challenges mankind to produce just ten chapters like it, then one chapter, then just one verse. The Holy Quran is inimitable and is devoid of contradictions and does not contain any information confirmed to be false. God goes on to say that all humankind will never be able to produce anything comparable to the Holy Quran. So how is the Holy Quran a miracle? A miracle is defined as an extraordinary act or event that goes against the laws of nature and can, according to Islam, come about only through the direct intervention and will of God. The Holy Quran is a living miracle of the Arabic language. It is inimitable in its style, form, and spiritual impact. The Holy Quran is miraculous in that it achieves linguistic perfection in a concise and exalted style in the Arabic language. For instance, the Holy Quran explains complicated legal matters such as the concept of inheritance with the use of simple speech and imagery in the Arabic language. The Holy Quran has its own unique rhythm, style, cadence, and genre and is like no other book. This book has its own unique charm. The fact that the Holy Quran contains futuristic terminology and descriptions reaching far beyond the knowledge and comprehension of a 7th century person living in the desert is a miracle. Muslim scholars have considered the linguistic miracle of the Holy Quran as perhaps the most miraculous aspect of the Holy Quran. However, to truly appreciate this, one would need to understand the Arabic language. In essence, the Holy Quran is not a book of science, but rather a book of signs proving the existence of a higher power. The Holy Quran is a miracle as it contains hundreds of scientific facts later confirmed to be accurate, years after the book was revealed. The Holy Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the 7th century, an illiterate man living in the desert at a time when there were no telescopes, microscopes, or anything resembling the symbols of advanced technology that we have today. 
The Holy Quran holds a certain brand of advance, even prophetic knowledge that was unknown to humankind at the time. The Holy Quran, for example, addresses the evolution of the human embryo in a mother's womb. Allah the Glorious calls a child in the womb that which hangs at a time when even physicians did not know the growing embryo hangs from the womb of the mother. Also God speaks of the three-stage growth process that the embryo undergoes in the mother's womb. He reveals that he created the womb with three veils, cloaks, shields or envelopes of darkness around the child. And now we know that the three layers of darkness serve to separate the embryo from the outside world. Furthermore, God states in his holy book that he has created everything from water. We now know that all living things are made of cells and that cells are made mostly of water. It wasn't until later, after the intervention of microscopes, that it was discovered that every living thing consists mostly of water. The Holy Quran speaks of God's creations. For instance, God states that he created the skies, the earth, the heavens, the mountains, etc. However, when referencing the vital and aged old element of iron, the Holy Quran states God sent down as opposed to created iron. And sure enough, scientists later discovered that iron is not natural to the earth and indeed was sent down to earth from the galaxy. Geologists found that the earth was struck by meteorites billions of years ago with iron descending as the earthbound byproduct of exploding stars. Humans initially thought that the world was flat. The Holy Quran references the earth in a verse describing the earth using the word dahaha, a term derived from a word which specifically defines the egg of an ostrich, which is geospherical in its shape and indeed likens the exact shape of the earth. Furthermore, the word dahaha also means to expand in the Arabic language. So through the use of this word, God is also letting us know that the earth is ever expanding, a notion later confirmed to be true. At a time when people initially thought the moon casts its own light, the Holy Quran referenced the fact that the light of the moon is not natural to this celestial being, but rather takes the form of reflected light. A fact which scientists confirm to be true. The Holy Quran references the fact that God made mountains in the form of pegs. The word used to refer to mountains in this verse is Autada, which translates directly to mean pegs and stakes, much like those objects that hold up tents. This is because mountains provide the earth's stability, preventing the planet from shaking, much in the same manner that a peg provides stability to a tent. Similar to tent pegs, mountains bear deep roots embedded in the earth. God mentions in a verse of two seas that come together on the face of the earth without directly mixing. We now know at the place where two different seas meet, there does indeed stand a barrier between them, which boasts its own salinity, temperature, and density. God references a conversation in the Holy Quran that took place between a queen ant warning her community of dire happenings, saying, O oh, you ants, get into your dwellings, lest Solomon and his army crush you unawares. Now we know that animals whose life cycles bear the closest resemblance to our own would be the ants. Ants routinely meet and talk to each other in their nests, with the queen ants issuing instructions. They have in their population labor workers with supervisors. They have marketplaces where they exchange goods, and they even bury their own dead as we do. How can an illiterate man living in the desert at this historic time have possessed such advanced knowledge? The linguistic and scientific miracles are not the only miracles in the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran is a miracle that it could have only come from God. This fact owning to the prophecies mentioned in the Holy Book that have since come true. Amongst the other accurate, futuristic predictions made in the Holy Quran is the victory of the Byzantine Empire. In the early 7th century, the two great empires ruling at the time were the Byzantine and the Persian empires. During the war, the Byzantines suffered a severe defeat in their war against the Persians. The Holy Quran states that while the Byzantines did indeed experience an initial defeat, they soon would enjoy an exalted victory that no one could have predicted. 
the Byzantines had experienced a crushing defeat that seemed at the time to have doomed the empire, but their fate was destined to change. Not only did this prediction come to fruition, but this verse referenced the fact that, in geographic terms, the Romans were defeated in the lowest land. We later came to find out via satellite images that the location of their defeat is literally the lowest point on the face of the earth. This vicinity boasts the lowest altitude on earth, 400 meters below sea level. The Holy Quran also tells many stories of past nations and past prophets such as Prophet Jesus, Moses and Joseph peace be upon them all. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him lived in the middle of the desert with no libraries. This only to the fact that the Arabic Peninsula was a backward, antiquated nation at the time. He had no way of reading or conjuring these stories shared in the Holy Quran. The Pharaoh that lived in the time of Prophet Moses had power and wealth, and even arrogantly proclaimed himself to be God. He eventually drowned, his fate a direct punishment for his arrogance. God stated in a verse that he preserved the Pharaoh's body as a sign for those who came afterward. In the early 70s, his corpse was examined. The discovery made through the investigation of his mummy that he died from the infiltration of water into his lung, thus providing conclusive proof of his drowning death. It also was proven that he lived at the time of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. God preserved his body forever as a sign and lesson for humanity, and now his body tours the world for everyone to see. The Holy Quran also contains many mathematical miracles or presumed coincidences that cannot truly be coincidences at all, as the Holy Quran was revealed bit by bit during a span of 23 years and was sent down orally, not in a written form. Amongst the many mathematical miracles outlined of the Holy Qur'an is the fact that this book mentions the word day 365 times, which is the time it takes the earth to complete one round around the sun. The plural of the word day is used 30 times within the text, which represents the number of days in a typical month. The word month is used 12 times in the same text. The word man and woman are mentioned 24 times each and not always in the same context. The word dunya, this word we live in, is mentioned 115 times, and the word which references the concept of the hereafter is mentioned 115 times. These coincidences or miracles, along with many others found in the text, show that there is a deliberate order to be found in the text of the Holy Quran. Unlike the modern day Bible, which contains thousands of contradictions due to its excessive modification by human hands, the Holy Quran boasts perfect consistency and contains zero contradictions, even despite the fact that this 600 plus page book speaks of many complex topics such as theology, law, legal problems, peace and war, marriage and divorce, economics, child custody, inheritance, etc. God states that if this book was written by anyone else, the text no doubt would contain many contradictions. Ultimately, the Holy Quran qualifies as a miracle because of the power and effect it yields from human beings all over the world. On a daily basis, this single book changes the lives and views of millions of people. This book has been credited with the transformation of people into better human beings. The Holy Quran is a miracle because of its incredible spiritual power and its highly positive psychological effects on those who read it. This book gives readers an indescribable feeling, one that moves people into tears even if they don't speak or comprehend the Arabic language. The Holy Quran is a miracle because of how this book changed and impacted human history in so many ways throughout the years. The Holy Quran is a miracle because of its stance as a widely known and memorized document. The Holy Quran is the only book memorized by millions of people of all ages around the world, of all languages and backgrounds from one end of the earth to the other. The Holy Quran is the most widely and frequently read book in the world, both today and throughout the last millennium. Even without the benefit of photographic memory, children and adults in Asia, Africa, Europe and across the globe have memorized this book of more than 600 pages, word by word. 
Almost every Muslim has memorized some portion of the Holy Quran to read during his or her prayers. This is due to Allah, the glorious kept promise regarding the Holy Quran, that this classic text would be rendered easy to understand and memorized. Certainly, this book provides sufficient answers and guidance for any sincere seeker of the truth without the need of any other signs or miracles to prove God's existence and to supply ultimate proof that Islam is the only religion acceptable by God. This sacred book demonstrates man's ultimate life purpose and how following God's guidance will lead one to inner peace in this life and in the hereafter. On the contrary, rejection of this book would lead one down the path to a sad, uninspired life in this world and certain hellfire in the hereafter. But they say, why are not signs sent down to him from his Lord? Say, the signs are only with Allah, and I am only a clear warner. And is it not sufficient for them that we reveal to you the book which was recited to them? Indeed, in that is a mercy and reminder for people who believe. Quran 29, 50-51「Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.